There are over 25 parks in Pleasanton, almost one for every neighborhood. Real quick, my name is Cooper Eisman with Keller Williams Realty, and I specialize in residential real estate sales between Livermore, Pleasanton, Dublin, San Ramon, Danville, and Alamo. So if you need help buying and or selling, call or text me anytime. Pleasanton is full of fun things to do, whether you enjoy it by yourself, with your dog, you and your kids, you and your partner, whatever the case, Pleasanton has a lot to do and parks are no exception. So I wanna give you my list of my favorite parks that I enjoyed growing up here. Number one on my list is Mirwood Park. Now Mirwood Park is a roughly eight acre park that is located just west of the 680 freeway off of Mirwood Drive between Stone Ridge and West Las Positas. Mirwood Park is comprised of a playground, a very large grass area, four tennis courts, a full court basketball court, barbecue area, picnic, and dog park. Now, Mirwood Park is open year round with the exception of the tennis courts. The city might lock those at any given time. I'm not exactly sure what the schedule is, but most of the time when I go there, they are open and people are playing. Mirwood is also home to a large grass area that a lot of the children's sports leagues in Pleasanton utilize for their practice. So. If you live in Pleasanton or if you live in the Stone Ridge Mirwood neighborhood and your kid plays in any sports leagues, it could be possible that they have practice at Mirwood Park. Now, number two on my list is Val Vista. Now, Val Vista is a roughly 15 acre park that is located just east of the 680 freeway. So literally just over the freeway from Mirwood Park and it is located in the Val Vista home neighborhood just behind Donlin Elementary School. Val Vista is a newer park that has been fully remodeled within the past 10 to 15 years, and it is comprised of a large playground, a water feature mini park uh, near the playground, a large grass area, turf soccer fields for soccer games and practice, a skate park at the end of it, and an inline skating rink. Now there are two ways to access this park. One entrance is off of Stone Ridge Drive and the other is within the Val Vista neighborhood off of Payne Road. Now number three on my list is the Patelco Sports Complex. Now this park and massive community area is the newest feature that Pleasanton has to offer as far as parks go. And this park is located off of Bernal Avenue and Valley Avenue, right across the street from the Alameda County Fairgrounds. Now the Patelco Sports Complex is roughly 30 acres of uh, big playground, walking trails, picnic area, three full-size turf fields for football practice and games and soccer practice and games. They even have field goal posts put up for the football games. I believe they may have baseball diamonds. I'm not 100% sure. It's been a little while since I've been there. This park is also open to the public year round and it's likely you've seen it or know what I'm talking about if you've driven to downtown Pleasanton off of Bernal Avenue in the last several years. Number four on my list is Parkside. Now Parkside is like the epicenter of parks in Pleasanton. Um, if you've spent any time uh, more than a few years in Pleasanton, I guarantee you've been to Parkside. It is directly in the center of Pleasanton and hosts by far the majority of every children's sports leagues and practice, as well as pick up basketball games, uh, adult softball leagues, etc. I have no idea how big the park actually is, but if I had to guess, I would say it's somewhere between 50 and 100 acres. It starts all the way from Hopyard Road and goes the full length of the Parkside neighborhood, which is many, many, many streets. It's comprised of dozens of baseball diamonds, football fields at the end, a playground, a snack shop, a skate park, many, many bathrooms throughout the entire park, walking trails, and a large, large grass area. I grew up in Pleasanton and did play a lot of sports growing up, and by far the majority of my practices and games were held in Parkside. It is an amazing park for whatever reason you want to utilize it for. I highly recommend you look into Parkside and utilize this park for all it has to offer. Now number five and last on my list is the tennis park. Now the tennis park has gotten its name from its large outdoor tennis facility that it has there which hosts 
private lessons, games, and leagues. Although the park is much more than just tennis courts, it also has a very large playground, a sand volleyball court, two full court basketball courts, and it's located just off of Hopyard Road and Valley Avenue. So if you live nearby, I suggest you check it out. Oh, and one more thing about the tennis park. If you love to play basketball and love to play pickup basketball, then I highly suggest you go to the tennis park because it is an awesome way to get free basketball in without any membership as they do play pickup basketball games the most often there than I've seen at any other park. There are over 25 parks in Pleasanton. That is almost one for every neighborhood. And they're all nice and they're all well taken care of. So whatever community or neighborhood you are looking to move into, focus on the house itself and if you really love the area in which it lies. The parks and the other amenities that come along with it will most likely be up to par and be great. So focus on the house itself, the layout, the size, the bedroom count, etc. And explore some communities and some neighborhoods just to see what makes you feel the best. You may like it for whatever reason you like it for, but only you and your family will understand what that feeling is and if you really love it. So find the neighborhood you love, find the house you love, and the amenities will come along with it because Pleasanton has a lot to offer in that regard. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to talking with you soon. Thank you.